Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany. I am a wife and a mother and a lover of all things makeup and skincare. So today I wanted to do my top 10 makeup products under $10. So there are so, so many good products that are at a much more affordable price tag that I feel like you do not need to get super high-end products all the time. Obviously, I have a collection of drugstore and high-end products and also a lot of mid-range products in my collection, but these are the products that I think are even better than high-end products and they won't break the bank. So if you would like to see my top 10 products under $10, then go ahead and keep on watching. So the first product that I wanted to talk about was the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This product retails for $8 and I feel like it is a, such a good primer. This is a dupe for the Tatcha Primer that is in similar packaging. Um, I just absolutely love this. I feel like it smooths out my skin so nicely. Foundation seems to sit really, really well on top of it. I have never had any issues with my foundations looking weird when I use it. I feel like it makes my makeup last a little bit longer throughout the day. It's pretty much everything that I could need in a primer. It is a little bit weird, obviously, that it is like in this form, so you have to like dig your fingers into it, but that's like my only gripe that I have on it. I still think it's a really good primer, and if you are in the market for a new primer, I would definitely recommend it. Okay, so the next product I actually do not have in my collection anymore because I recently finished it up, but once I get down a few more foundations in my collection, I'm planning on repurchasing it, and that is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. It is $9 at the drugstore, and I feel like it is one of the best foundations that I've ever tried. It is a medium to full coverage, but it doesn't look heavy or cakey on your skin. It doesn't crease really badly on me, which I have a lot of problems with foundations creasing. It's a matte foundation, but it isn't matte in like the way that you would typically think. I feel like it almost has a more natural finish to the skin. It doesn't look like all of the moisture has been like sucked out of your skin or anything like that. I honestly highly, highly recommend that foundation. It is one of my favorites and I honestly can't wait to have it back in my collection. Um, I'm probably gonna wait until I have maybe like four or five foundations in my collection and then repurchase it just because I really wanna get the most use out of my products that I can. But yeah, I would highly, highly recommend it. All right, so the next product is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This retails for $9 and I absolutely love it. It is my favorite concealer in my collection. I will repurchase it forever. I feel like it doesn't crease under my eyes, which I have a really big problem with creasing. Um, it doesn't look heavy or cakey at all on my skin. I have worn this for up to like 16 hours and it never looks weird. Um, I really just love it. I feel like it looks so good on my skin. And yeah, it will be a forever repurchase, I think, or at least a repurchase for a very long time. So, so good. Okay, so this next product, I'm pretty sure everybody who has done a top 10 products under $10 has talked about this, so I'm sorry. I know I've, I've already talked about this on my channel multiple times, so my bad. But I still wanted to talk about it anyway. So that is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows. This is in the shade Hot Jalapeno, or this is the palette Hot Jalapeno. So this is my favorite out of the Bite Size Shadows. I love this. You guys know I love a good green eyeshadow, so that is why it is my favorite. But what I love about them is that they have super neutral ones, they have super colorful ones, and they just came out with two new ones that are like mint, and I have been very tempted to pick them up, but I haven't yet, so I'm hoping that I can stand my ground and not purchase them because you guys know I'm really, really trying to be smarter about my purchases. But either way, this is a really, really good palette formula. I absolutely love them and I think you guys would too. Oh, and I forgot to say, these guys are $3. Yeah. Yeah. $3. Again, I'm sure you've heard that a hundred times before, but $3 is an incredible price for four eyeshadows. Come on now. Four eyeshadows for $3? You can't beat it, you can't beat it. Okay, so the next product is another one that I do not currently have, but that is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I love the one that's in like the green and black tube. They retail for $5.99 and they are so, so good. I feel like they just don't look clumpy on my lashes at all. They look really, really nice and long and a little bit voluminous, just like everything that you could possibly need in a mascara. And I only don't have one because I have several mascaras that I currently 
currently have that I'm trying to get through first. But once I get through those, I will 100% be purchasing another one or two or three or four, I don't even know. I have had so many in my collection. I've probably gone through like seven or eight at this point. Like they're that good. It's just a staple in my collection and I'm really sad that I don't currently have it, but that's life. I also really like the purple one. That one is pretty good as well. So honestly, Essence mascaras in general are just so good and so affordable. All right, so the next product like it goes all right under the wire. It retails for $9.99. And this is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I have the shade Sunlight. I'm pretty sure I've already talked about this on my channel a few times, but this is just an absolutely incredible bronzer. I feel like it has the perfect like neutral undertone to it. It looks so good on my skin. Um, and it honestly, I feel like this could last me for so long. It has quite a bit of product in it. And yeah, it's just such a staple in my collection. I absolutely love this bronzer. And if you are in the market for a new one, I would highly recommend it. I think this is probably another product that has been in a lot of these types of videos because it's just a really, really good bronzer at the drugstore. And that can sometimes be hard to find, but I absolutely love this. All right, so let's talk about brows. Now, this product that I'm about to talk about is my favorite product in my collection. It is a holy grail product. I will forever repurchase it. I honestly have gotten to the point where I don't even have another brow pencil in my collection, and this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Now, obviously, brow pencils are a little bit hard because it mostly depends on if you can find the right shade or the right undertone for you and what your preferences are when it comes to brow pencils, but for me, this is perfection. This does retail for $10, so it's like almost a cheat because it's the top 10 under $10, but I didn't even care. I had to include it because I have just realized that this is all I could ever need in a brow pencil. It is super, super thin. I feel like it always makes my brows look pretty good. You guys know I'm not like the expert on brows. I, <laughs> I'm not that great at doing my brows, but I feel like they always look pretty good when I use this. Brow pencil isn't like super waxy. I hate waxy brow pencils and I have tried so many waxy ones <sighs> over the past few years and I just, I don't like them. This is just perfect. It's creamy and it just looks so nice on my brows, so yeah. This is a forever, forever, forever repurchase. All right, the next brow product is a little bit newer to me. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow, and this retails for $4. This is a really, really nice brow gel. I feel like it's one of the best that I've tried in quite a long time, honestly. Um, it doesn't leave your brows looking like goopy. I hate when you use a brow mascara or a brow gel and like your it gets all like clumpy, you know what I mean. You've tried them before, you know what I mean. But yeah, this one does not do that. I feel like it looks really nice. It just gives like a slight tint to the brows. Um, I honestly even like using this on its own when I'm doing like a little bit more of a no makeup makeup day. This is just a very, very good brow gel. All right, so the next product is the ColourPop Luxe Lipsticks. These retail for $8. I have so many of these in my collection. I don't know why, but they only have a few on their website right now. The shade that I am showing you guys right now is the shade What's Your Sign. That is my favorite, but they haven't had that on their website in a few months, unfortunately. I don't know if it's coming back in stock. <sighs> I hope it does because I definitely want to pick up a backup because the shade is like perfection, but I have so many of their Luxe lipsticks and I feel like they are perfect. They're very creamy. They feel very comfortable on the lips and I feel like they actually last a decent amount of time, which is kind of hard with bullet lipsticks. But this is just the absolute best formula that I have tried and they are so affordable. So if you can get your hands on some, I would definitely recommend them. I especially love the cream formula. The matte ones are not my favorite, but the creams are so good. Okay, this last product is an oldie but a goodie. It is the NYX Butter Gloss. These retail for $5, which is a steal. This is still one of my favorite gloss formulas. I feel like it is so, so good. It's not sticky. It gives a slight tint to the lips, and I just feel like it actually is a little bit moisturizing. It's just so good. I don't know why people have stopped talking about this. It's still a staple in my collection. I will continue to repurchase these. I think they're so good. The shade I have currently is Tiramisu. I really like it because it is a more neutral undertone. Um, but yeah, I really do love the Butter Glosses. And if you have never tried them before, what are you doing? They are so, so good. 
All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if this video was slightly choppy. My son was like freaking out, out in our living room, like half of this video. So I kept having to like stop and wait for him to calm down so that I could get back. Cause if not, you guys would just be hearing him wail for like three minutes at a time. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in a few days with another video. Bye.